If you're a golfer who has had persistent or recurrent lower back pain or sciatica for months or years, this video will help you understand why and what to do about it. For most people, lower back pain and sciatica come and go. Sometimes it's there for a few days, sometimes for a few months. And when it's there, you're highly motivated to find a solution, aren't you? But when it's not there, you have no motivation to do anything differently. So you go back to your old habits, and it's those habits that eventually lead to another flare-up of pain. So your motivation waxes and wanes in line with your pain. What you have to do is to make the long-term prevention of pain your priority. It has to be more than an idle wish. It has to be more than taking the odd painkiller or going to your manual therapist for another session. It has to be about you prioritizing whatever it takes to secure that long-term solution. Now, admittedly, it's not going to be easy to solve. I always say that the strategy is simple, but the war is fought on many fronts. The formula may be straightforward, but overcoming a long history of pain like this is not an easy process. So guess what? You're going to have to prioritize it. It can't be a nice to have, it has to become a necessity for you. I'd say you have to have at least a quiet determination that you are going to solve this problem. No one else is experiencing your pain. No one else knows exactly what you're suffering. No one else cares as much as you do. You'd think, given how strong a motivator pain is, that prioritizing it would be easy. But of course, as I said earlier, most people's pain doesn't stay at a constant high level forever. It waxes and wanes, and therefore, so does your motivation. We're our own worst enemies when it comes to long-term health. There are evolutionary-based survival instincts at play here. We're lazy in order to conserve energy for when we need to fight or flight. We're greedy in case there are times of famine. We avoid thinking about the inevitability of death as it might cause us to think life is futile. Dieting usually results in a futile yo-yoing of weight over decades. As we've established, seeking relief of pain also results in yo-yoing up and down the cliff face until you get stuck in the sea of suffering. The best you'll achieve is a pain-free but fragile back, teetering on the edge of another fall. So unless you prioritize prevention, this is very likely to happen again. It's likely that the quote, the definition of an insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results is wrongly attributed to Einstein. But whoever it was that spoke those words or similar made a very good point. You have to make this your number one health priority. I appreciate you may have relationships, work, all sorts of commitments, but your back is your weakest link. Prioritize is the first pillar of achieving a long-term solution. You have to prioritize this and then we'll move on to the other three pillars. So here's a little exercise for you. Get yourself a blank piece of paper and write a SMART goal on it. Here's the one I wrote in March of 1997. It's the 1st of December, 97, and I've been doing my preventer exercises daily for the last eight months. I now have a pain-free back and I can rely on to allow me to do the things I want to do without anxiety about a flare-up. Now, in case SMART goals are a new concept to you, here's how it's broken down. Specific, measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. That's the acronym for SMART. So pause the video now and write your SMART goal down. I'll put my example in the comments below this video. Maybe you'd like to make a public declaration and add yours to the comments. 
You may want to structure your SMART goal similarly to me. It's up to you, but please make sure to cover all five elements. Now, it's completely understandable if you struggle to know what is achievable, but have a stab at it anyway. When you read it back to yourself, if you don't feel at least 8 out of 10 sure, then make your goal a bit easier. Don't worry, you can always revise your goal upwards as you make progress. Now, if you're not a fan of goals, I still encourage you to do this. You may have to adapt or edit your goal over time as you learn what sort of pace you progress at. That will become clearer once you have more understanding. So, get your piece of paper and a pen or add it to the comments below and just take five minutes to complete this exercise before moving on to the second pillar, understanding. Okay, I'd love to know what you think of this video on prioritising. Please leave a comment below as well as your own goal and subscribe to our channel if you're a golfer looking for a rapid relief and a long-term solution to your lower back pain or sciatica. In the meantime, stay active.